Hey guys, my name is Antranik, and this is a follow along video for the warm up section of the R Bodyweight Fitness recommended routine. It was updated earlier this year, and this is another way to warm up. There are a million ways to warm up, so take what you like from here and incorporate it into your workout. So, we're gonna begin with Yuri Marmerstein's favorite, one of his favorite shoulder exercises using a band. Put this looped band over the bar, run it through, put my hand through it, grab it, turn away from the anchor point until it's tight. And then from here, put your arm behind you as if you're trying to scratch behind your shoulder blades and then straighten it behind you and externally rotate the shoulder by turning the palm up and then when you do that bring the hand forward into the opposite shoulder and then back to the same side and again internally rotate and that's one rep straighten it out palm up external rotation bring it forward this is a nice way to activate everything. So just a couple more times. Should get the shoulders all fired up. Remember, externally rotate the shoulder all the way and then bring it forward and to the other side. Let's switch sides. Again, let's start with the hand behind us and then internally rotate that shoulder all the way until the hands behind the shoulder blades and then straighten and supinate or externally rotate by bringing the palm all the way up and then bring that hand or elbow forward until it's on the other shoulder and back around to the same side as where you started. And it's a very simple motion once you get used to it. Just remember this is a warm-up, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Get the shoulders all warmed up, moving them in all sorts of directions. You have internal rotation, external rotation, extension, flexion, abduction and adduction. It's a very nice way to do it. And if you have the right tension on the band, it's great. For the next one, we're going to go into a squat. And if you have trouble going into a squat, put your heels on something where you can elevate the heels like this. Makes deep squatting much easier and you could go narrower as well. Okay, so do what you can. Meet me down here in the squat. And then you're going to put your left hand, hook your left hand on your right ankle as you reach your right elbow up to the sky and then straighten it and back down. Okay, it's very important that you bring the elbow up first and then straighten the arm. Bring it back down in the same motion you came up with. And you can also add your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Synchronize the breath with the motion in inhaling. Exhaling. Switch sides. Right hand on the left ankle and then reach your left elbow up as you reach your arm up after. Reverse. Exhale. Try to keep your hips down into a deep squat. Just a few more times. At least five times on each side. Alright, and then put your hands together and put your elbows inside. This next exercise is known as the dead bug. Lay on your back and you want to set your knees up like this, the 90 degree bend here and here. And before you begin, exhale all the air out. 
and suck your belly in. And this forces your core to activate and your lower back stays glued to the ground like a hollow hold. And then reach your arms up. And while you maintain this tight core, you extend the right leg forward and down as you reach your left arm back. So alternating limbs, left leg forward, right arm back, bring them back together and just contralateral limbs moving in sync. Each time you bring it back, you can exhale. And if this feels very easy for you or you're very well versed with this exercise or the hollow hold, you can do them at the same time by going into the hollow hold and then raising both arms and legs up, but make sure you don't arch your lower back. Do either variation for at least 30 seconds. And you should feel your core working very well. And if you don't feel your core, focus on your breath first. <sighs> Exhaling all the air out, sucking the belly in so that the lower back stays flat on the ground the whole time. Okay. All right, guys, and that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.